Hi, my name's Amy, and uh, I have Asperger's Syndrome. And uh, I come by it honestly. My father had Asperger's, my grandfather, probably my great-grandmother. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I passed it on to my 17-year-old son, who also has Asperger's Syndrome. Asperger's is a form of autism that is characterized by high intelligence, um, quirks and social difficulties, and especially in my case, uh, great verbal difficulties. Um, um, I'm oversensitive to things. It's like there's just way too many neurons turned on all the time. I like my food very bland. Um, clothing, I tend to wear uh, very long, or long sleeves, long pants. I'm oversensitive to the sun. I go out in short sleeves on a hot day, and, and even if I put on tons of sunscreen, my skin feels like it's burning or crawling, um, and I'll get a rash. So people see me in long sleeves, they probably wonder what's up with that, and it's, it's because uh, of my Asperger's, basically. Um, the greatest difficulty with Asperger's is probably social interaction, just talking to people. I have to think about what I'm going to say. Um, if I'm going to meet with someone, I try and think beforehand, I, you know, what am I going to say to them, what questions am I going to ask, what are we going to talk about? Because uh, small talk doesn't come easy. It's something that I've had to work at year after year after year, and um, it's just one of the one of the challenges that uh, I face on a daily basis. I've gotten quite good at it, I think, overall, and I think most people would probably be su surprised to find out that I do have Asperger's because I have worked really hard to learn all the little tricks that make uh, life easier and interaction easier. Eye contact, as you can probably tell even with the camera, is, uh, is challenging. Um, it's never been easy. Um, I'm not sure why exactly, but the more stressed I am, the less eye contact I will be able to maintain. Some days I can do it, and some days I don't. It's just uh, something that's hardwired into my brain. Um, verbalizing is uh, difficult. Uh, both my son and I are, would be characterized as quiet, introverted people because we, we really don't say much. I don't know what to say. I'm not sure how to say it. Um, I don't know what people want to talk about, what they want me to say. It's just, uh, or we're just quiet people. You know, we can sit in the car and drive for 30 minutes and say one sentence back and forth, and we understand each other very well. So, you know, we speak the same language, and it really is like, in living in a different world. It's like I have my own way of thinking and speaking and doing things as does my son. So we're, we're on the same, kind of on the same planet, but uh, everybody else seems to be pretty pretty odd to me. Um, and when I get stressed, the more stressed I get, the harder it is to say anything. I mean, there's a lot of times when I've got something going on, especially if it's emotional, it's like the verbal center just completely shuts down and I'm unable to talk or speak or utter a common sense word or a, word, a sentence that's easy to understand. You can tell I'm a little nervous, can't you? That's okay. Just deal with it. Um, so that's, uh, that's, you know, I'm not trying to be rude or ignore people, but there's times I don't know what to say. And a lot of times when I'm stressed, I, 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 I cry. I mean, there's no other way to get around it. Uh, tears come easily when the words don't come out. And uh, that's, I've learned to deal with that. I used to not be able to cry in front of people or I used to be really embarrassed or ashamed. And now it's like, you know, this is just the way I operate, okay? Just deal with it. So um, I've got a couple other things going on that I don't know if they go along with the Asperger's, but they certainly make my life challenging. Um, I'm agoraphobic, which means I have a hard time leaving my house. I can travel about a five to ten mile radius around my house with ease, with no anxiety. But if I go outside of that limit, I, I get very anxious and I'm prone to panic. And so um, if I want to go to another city or town or just outside of my range, I have to either take medication, anti-anxiety meds, or if I'm with a trusted friend, then um, I'll, I'll be fine. But uh, travel is, is not easy, uh, but I'm, I'm learning. Um, I also have a blog called aspergersthealien.blogspot.com, which for some reason it's very easy for me to write and put my words in that format. And I encourage you to check that out and see because it's all about my life with Asperger's and, and how I deal with it. And it goes more in depth into the symptoms and an overview of what it's about. So um, 
Uh, I am normal on my home planet, and uh, believe me, it is quiet and peaceful there. It's not noisy, and there's very few people, and people don't bother you. Um, people ask me to go to parties or uh, meetings, and I have to turn them down, and I don't mean to be rude. I mean, I, you know, really liked, you know, to keep friends and maintain them, and but it's just the stress level is just it's beyond belief for me to uh, to do those kind of things. So I'm not being rude. I just um, am very nervous and anxious, and I, I don't like panic attacks. They're really actually quite awful. So um, I'm trying to find comfort and peace and serenity. And I think um, if people can just understand that I'm just I'm different, you know, I, I still care about them and I still, you know, want to be around people, but it's just, it's, it's challenging and sometimes I need quiet times for myself. My body will physically shut down if I've been uh, under extreme stress. Uh, my body goes into the shutdown mode where I have a hard time verbalizing at all and my body just wants to sleep, sleep, sleep or, you know, just rest. I, I become, you know, very, very quiet and reclusive for a while until I recover from that and I found that that is really quite common with people with Asperger's uh, overstimulation and then there's this you know emotional mental physical shutdown that occurs and you know I I won't answer the phone for days because even talking requires effort that I just and strength that I don't have so that that happens sometimes so just you know bear with me I'm, I'm doing the best I can so um, I don't know it's like I, I feel like no one really knows me because I live inside a box and um, and I don't have a spare key to let anyone in and um, it, sometimes it's lonely sometimes it's comforting it's just you know what I have to deal with on a daily basis and, and that's okay but uh, I, I do like people and um, I, I want people to understand me and just accept me for who I am I'm doing the best I can so um, you know take it easy okay Check out the blog, it's like really good.